I'm Lori May. And I'm Bill Hubscher. Welcome to Focus on Marshall. On today's program, we're going to show you how this long tube helps us see deeper into space. But first, let's stay a little closer to home and head over to the East Texas area where they're preparing for some testing to return us to the moon. We're here in the East Test Area at Test Cell 103 where they're preparing for some crew launch vehicle testing. I'm here with Ed Johnson, one of the test engineers out here. Tell me about the capabilities that we have here. The test cells in general are set up for customers that have test articles that have um, limited thrust and require minimal quantities of propellants. And in a lot of cases, the test cells can actually uh, be more affordable to our customers because they're easier to modify and prepare for tests rather than some of the larger facilities that we have. How is this facility unique? Well, in this case, in Test Cell 103, what we've done is we've set up a test fixture specifically for this augmented spark igniter test project. And it is a gaseous hydrogen, gaseous oxygen system um, specifically for that testing. And this is in preparation for the upcoming J2X uh, engine development program. All right, let's take a look at some of the hardware. Here we have a vacuum chamber. Tell me about that. Um, this is the test article here. Here, This is a SSME igniter and um, it's attached to a three-foot vacuum chamber. And uh, what we're doing now is we're, um, we're running igniter tests and we're varying the altitude conditions using a vacuum chamber to vary the back pressure on the igniter. And um, we're also varying the mixture ratio of the igniter to ex investigate the sensitivity of the igniter itself to altitude and mixture ratio. How will this be used in the crew launch vehicle program? Well, this is a precursor. This testing is a precursor for the J2 program. Right now, we're, gonna, we're getting up on the learning curve to understand, uh, to get the facility set up, to get it operating correctly, to, uh, to understand some of these sensitivities that I described earlier. And um, we're preparing for the J2 hardware to arrive. Okay, Ed, for those of us who don't know, tell me what an igniter test is. Well, in this case, what we're doing with the SSME igniter is uh, we're varying the chamber pressure to simulate altitude conditions, and we can also vary the mixture ratio to the igniter to, to investigate the sensitivity of the igniter to those conditions. And that's important because with the J2 engine development program, the igniter will have to be developed and tested and evaluated to ensure that it will light under the conditions required for flight. So a lot of testing going on. You're going to be pretty busy in the next few months, right? All right, well, thanks for taking the time to be with us today. Thank you.